Hi students, today I am going to explain how to study the relationship between length of the wire and the tension for a constant frequency using a, a sonometer. So this is my sonometer with a wire of linear mass density mu and we have two knife edges. So to study the relationship between L and T, we need a, a tuning fork with a constant frequency. In this case, it is going to be 512 hertz and we need a, a rubber pad and we need a, a weight hanger and a, a, a pepper rider. So using this apparatus, I am going to explain how to obtain the relationship between L. What is L? So L is the distance between these two knife edges when the system attaining the resonance condition. So I will explain the when a stretched wire is set in vibration, the natural frequency n of the fundamental mode of vibration is given by n equal to 1 by 2L root T by mu. Per length, L is the length of the vibrating wire, the SI root of L is meters, where T is the tension in the wire, the SI root of tension is Newton, the mu is nothing but the linear mass density of the given wire or mass per unit length of the wire. So, the linear mass density is nothing but the total mass of the wire divided by its length. So, kilogram per meter inverse. So, my n is directly proportional to tension and inversely proportional to length. Since mu is a constant, so my frequency of the sonometer is purely depending upon tension and the length. So, I have tuning for with the frequency in this case I am taking 512 hertz. So, my new is going to be 512 hertz in this case. So, this is going to be fixed. Then my sonometer frequency that is exactly match with this frequency. My amplitude of the wire, the amplitude of the structured string should be maximum. So, this condition is called resonance condition. So, this nu is fixed, but I can vary the n value by varying the tension as well as the length. So, by varying my tension as well as the length, I am going to find the, obtain the resonance condition using this So, I am going to use this table to vary the L value and T value. So, first I am going to start with my load of mass M and the tension is equal to M into G, my resonant length of the wire L. So, at this length between the two knife edges, my vibration of the string will be maximum. So, that condition is called your resonance condition. So, L1 is my trial 1, L2 is my trial 2. If I take the average of these two, I am getting my value of L, which is called resonant length of the wire. So, if I take the square of this, I am getting my L square and the L square by T. So, L square from here and T from here, I am able to find my L square by T. So, if I plot a graph between L square and T, I am getting a, a straight line. So, this is my model graph. So, using this table, I am going to explain the relationship between L and T. So, for a constant frequency nu, my N also should be a constant, should be equal with this, then only we are able to get the resonance condition. So, to vary my N value, I am going to increase my tension. If I increase my tension, the length of the Resonant, the resonant length of O gets increases. So, the one end of the sonometer wire is fixed in this side. The another one end I am going to connect with a, a pulley. So, I am going to add this hanger. So, for first observation, I am going to take my load M is going to be 1.5 kilogram. So, this is a weight hanger of weight of kilogram. So, I am going to add one more 500 gram and 
down to the finite gram. So I am going to place this in the under end of the sonometer wire using this pulley. So if I hang this here, so the tension in the string is also gets increases. Now I am going to place this paper right here. So we are going to hit this tuning fork with this rubber pad and place. So there is no vibration, vibration in the string. So now I am going to increase the, the length slightly. So now we are going to increase the length slowly. So slowly we have to increase the distance between the knife edges. So at this length, the system attains the resonance condition. So the string vibrating with maximum amplitude. So if I take the reading of this, so the portion of this knife edge is 55.6, 55.6. This is exactly 46. So I am going to do the trial 2. If I place this here, so I am going to increase the di distance from here to some 2 to 3 centimeters. Then I have to repeat the same procedure. So now there is no maximum amplitude, so I have to reduce the length. So I have to reduce. Again I have to reduce. If it decreases, so now the system attains resonance condition. So now I am going to measure the length of this knife edge. There is no change. This is 55.6. This is approximately 45.8. So for my second trial, 55.6 and this edge is 45.8. So for trial 1, we have uh, the, reson <coughs> the distance between the two knife edges is L1 is 9.6 and for trial 2, L2 is 9.8. If you take the average distance of these two, I am getting 9.7 centimeter. So it is my average resonant length of the wire. So now I am going to increase the load from one point. 5 to 2 kilogram. So now I am going to add this the hanger. So if my tension gets increases, so my length also should be increases. So I can simply place the rider now. Now I am going to starting from the this point. So repeat the same procedure. I have to move slowly.
so now there is a maximum vibration in the string so now the system is in resonance condition so now i'm going to take the reading this is 54.8 54.8 for this nice stage it will be 43.5 So now I'm going to increase the length by two to three centimeters to get the trial two. Repeat the same procedure. So now I am going to decrease slowly. So now the system is in the resonance condition. So the applied frequency is exactly match with match with my sonometer frequency. So we are getting the maximum amplitude in the string. So the string vibrates with a maximum amplitude. So now we are taking the reading from this knife edge. It's going to be 54.8, and this is going to be 43.6. 43.6. So, for my trial one, the balancing length is 11.2 centimeters. For my trial two, is 11.3 centimeters. So, if you take the average of these two, I'm getting 11.25 centimeters. So, now I'm going to increase my load M to 2.5 kilogram. So, now I'm going to add this 500 gram with my hanger. So, I'm going to add now. So now the tension of the string gets increases. So the balancing length also will increase. So I'm going to place my rider here. So we start from close. So now I'm going to increase. So now I'm going to increase the length slowly. So now the system attains resonance condition. So now I'm going to take the position of the knife edges. This approximately 53.1. So here it should be 40.8. 40.8. So now I'm going to increase the length two to three centimeters. I'm going to. Place my rider 
here again repeat the same procedure so the vibration is not maximum so i am going to decrease the length this part trial 2 i am going to decrease further slowly we have to decrease So at this point, it's going to be attained maximum vibrating point. So now I'm going to notice the not the point. So this is there is no problem. It's my 51.53.1. In this point, it should be 40.9. So 40.9. So for 2.5 kg mass, the tension will be T equal to m into g. 2.5 into 9.8 is 24.5 for the first trial the resonant resonant length will be 12.3 for second trial 12.2 so if you take the average of these two lengths i'm getting 12.25 so if i square this i'm able to find my l square from this l square and from here t so i'm able to find l square by t the l square value is if I square this 9.7 square, it will be 94.09. So if I square this 11.25, it will become 126.9. And then 12.25 if I square it, I am getting 150.06. So now I am going to find my L square by T. So L square corresponding tension is 14.7. For this L square, this is my tension. So 94.09 divided by 14.7, which gives 6.40. For next case, L square is 126.9 divided by 19.6. So if I divide these two, I am getting the value of 6.47. So now next case, I am going to divide 150.06 divided by 24.5. So if I divide, I am getting the value of 6.125. So almost L square by T is going to be a constant value except this value. So is around L square by T is approximately 6. It is almost a, a constant. So now I am going to plot a graph between L square and T. So in along x axis, I am going to take tension, it is in Newton, along y axis my L square, it is in centimeter square. In this case, for tension, the minimum range starts from 14.7 and maximum range is 24.5. So I am going to start from my reading from 14 to 25, minimum to maximum. So Along x axis, 1 centimeter equals to 1 newton, 14, 15, 16 till 25. The y axis is L square. So the minimum value is 94. The maximum value is 150. So I am going to start my equation, my readings from 90 to 150. So along my y axis, 90, 90 95, 100, 105. So along along y axis 1 cm equals to 5 cm square. Now I am going to explain the observation. My tension is 14.7. It is somewhere here and uh, my L square is 94. So 94 it is somewhere this point. Okay. The next reading is for tension 19.6. Here, 
here my L square is 126.9 approximately 127 so for 19.6 for 19.6 is somewhere here So 126 is somewhere here. So we'll get the value. This point. Okay. So the next ruling 24.5. So my 24.5 this point. Corresponding L square value is 150.6. Approximately 150. So if I place a dot here, I'm getting this point. So I have three points connecting here. So this is going to be a, a straight line. So if I plot a graph between L square and ST, I am getting a, a straight line. So L square by T will become a, a straight line. So if I calculate here, my L square by T will become a, a constant here. So this is how we are able to compare the length and tension of the stretch the string using sonometer so if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching